Hey everybody, welcome to Burrow Tech. In this episode, we're gonna be asking the question, should Bitcoin split? Is that a good idea or not? All right, welcome back. For this video, I wanna make sure you like and subscribe. The more like subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So should Bitcoin split and is it a good idea? What are the implications if it does this? Now, first of all, we have to understand what a stock split is. Now I know that Bitcoin isn't a stock, but it could in theory split. So what a stock split is, is when you have the existing amount of shares being divided further. And the reason why stocks do this is that if it becomes too expensive, a lot of newcomers can't get in. So think of this as a banana. So if you have a banana, that's just one banana, and then you split it into five pieces, that's still just one banana, it just now has five pieces. So a good example of this is Amazon. Amazon is trading very expensively, but what they could do is they could split their stock so that it's a lot less expensive, so that more people can buy into that stock. So again, this doesn't change the value of the stock. What it does is it gives you more shares. So let's say you have one stock for $1,000 and it splits into five, then each share is worth $200. Now you now have five shares at $200. You still have $1,000 worth of the stock, but now you have five shares of it. So on the flip side, you have a reverse split. So let's say you have a thousand dollars of a $1 stock, you have a thousand shares and you reverse split that to $200. So you now have five shares at $200. This is called a reverse split. Now, one of the main reasons that stock splits happen is because a lot of people can't get into them. So the divisibility is very low. Now with Bitcoin, divisibility isn't a problem. You can buy $1 or a million dollars of Bitcoin and it's exactly the same thing. So should Bitcoin split? Well, again, divisibility isn't really that big of a problem with cryptocurrencies. You can buy $1 or a million dollars of Bitcoin and it's exactly the same. And that's the whole point. So the divisibility of stocks is a lot different than the divisibility of cryptocurrencies. So if Bitcoin did split, I think the psychology of traders and the psychology of the world would change quite a bit. In fact, I think if Bitcoin did split, it would make adoption a lot easier. So let's go over what a split might do. So let's say you have one Bitcoin and one Bitcoin is worth 60 grand. Well, let's say it's split into a thousand. So your one Bitcoin is now a thousand Bitcoin, which is also worth 60 grand. So getting into one Bitcoin is fairly hard now. If you had 60 grand lying around and you wanted to put it into Bitcoin, that's good. But believe it or not, even a lot of the exchanges like Coinbase limit to you on how much you can buy per day in fiat dollars. Getting into one Bitcoin would be quite challenging. So if it indeed split by a thousand, it would be a lot cheaper to get into one Bitcoin. And because a lot of people would love to own at least one Bitcoin, I think that if it was cheaper, then a lot more people would do it. What would happen is that a lot of the people who are really beating their chests about Bitcoin will say, well, now you can own one Bitcoin for, well, 60 bucks. And I think that's actually quite interesting. Now, again, it doesn't really change the value of Bitcoin because remember at the beginning is if you had one Bitcoin worth 60 grand or a thousand Bitcoins, that's also equal to 60 grand. The only thing that it changes is psychology. And this always happens when a stock splits. Now, what I'm not talking about is ETFs. ETFs often split because there's a lot of decay in ETFs, but when a stock splits, it's good news for the company because it got super expensive from what it was before, and now that's seen as good news. On the flip side, when it reverse splits, that's seen as bad news. And of course it's seen as bad news because you had such a cheap stock and you have to make it artificially more expensive. Now, if you like Bitcoin, should you want Bitcoin to split? Well, I think that if you really like Bitcoin, you should at least want it to split because the psychology around that split will get more people into Bitcoin. And this can be a hundred split, a thousand split, or even a 10,000 split. That might not actually be a bad idea. And again, remember, if you do own Bitcoin, I have to say this because it took me a long time to understand what splits are. But if you do own Bitcoin, let's say one Bitcoin, no matter what it splits to, you still have the same amount of Bitcoin, but you just have more of them. So again, if you have one Bitcoin worth 60K or 10,000 Bitcoin also worth 60K, that is the exact same thing. So 
I think a split would be really good. I don't think they're gonna do it, but it would be really interesting to see if Bitcoin did split, how much more adoption there would be. All right, so that concludes this video. Do you own Bitcoin? I want to know in the comments down below. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, it's that we sell our digital products down below. The more money you get for the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. It really does help us out when you subscribe to Mammoth Interactive. We have monthly and yearly options. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.